Happy Saturday, everybody. It's Nicole Danell, your sexy stage four colon cancer with best to the liver patient. Happy Saturday, sunny Saturday. It's real sunny out here in Georgia. It's pretty, but it is hot. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> I just wanted to come by and say hi and wish y'all a very, 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 very blessed and wonderful sunny weekend. So I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you warriors are doing something that you like to do, that you're not just laying in the bed, that you're getting up a little bit, walking around, reading a book, painting, drawing, sketching, whatever, playing games, whatever. Just make sure that you're keeping your spirits up and that you're doing what you need to do. And for those that are, you know, have some symptoms that they may have looked up and it may, you know, as far as correspond with what people have, as far as with, um, colon cancer symptoms, I suggest that you go and go ahead and schedule your colonoscopy because you you'd rather know in the beginning than have to wait till you know later and it's in stage four. Stage one, stage two, stage three is a lot easier to fight, but when it's stage four, you really gotta fight to be here. So I would suggest just please take care of yourself. Please pay attention to your symptoms. Please, you know, just be strong. It's okay. Yes, I when I went, I didn't think that's what they was going to tell me. I had never heard of colon cancer for one, and I definitely wasn't thinking I would wake up to them telling me I had cancer at all because I wasn't even in that mindset. So, you know, things change. I'm still here. I'm still blessed. I'm still doing my videos. I'm still able to do a lot of things that I want to do. I just have to do it at a slower pace. But guess what? I'd rather be doing it at a slower pace than not doing it at all. So I thank you guys. I just want to give y'all a little bit of inspiration. I love you. Keep going. Keep fighting. Keep doing what you do no matter what you're going through. No matter whether you're the warrior, the caregiver, the supporter, the sister, the brother, the aunt, the uncle, the cousins, the friends. Just everybody. Just lift your spirits. Lift their spirits. And just go ahead and love on that person because they needed to go through this journey. So I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I'm Nicole Zena and I'm out. Mwah. Good morning, good morning, happy, fantastic, freaky Friday. It's Nicole Danielle, your sexy stage four with colon cancer with meds to deliver patient. Guys, I tried to do a video yesterday. It was interrupted because I forgot that my television was on, so I stopped it. I came back over here to do the video, thought I hit record, but when I went to edit the video, when I went upstairs, guess what? I wasn't recording. <laughs> But guys, I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing good today, a lot better. I was doing good yesterday as well. I had a lot of energy, but then I crashed at night because I didn't take a nap. I was um, doing some stuff, printing on some bags for my cousin's wedding, I um, for um, some designs that I made for her bridesmaids bags. So guys, I'm just so excited that she's getting married. It's next weekend. I'm excited about going. Um, hopefully I meet new people and could discuss different things and I want one of the things I do want to um, get started again because I was supposed to start it last year was around my birthday May 30th was to do a podcast and I'm still looking into doing that but it's going to have different things It's mostly going to be geared to as far as with colon cancer my stage my journey and speaking to other people that are going through the same journey or that are caregivers, supporters, whatever. So I'm trying to get that all together, but my life has been really busy this year and it's going by really fast. But I am blessed because my numbers are down, my um, PET scan was great, so I'm getting more and more energy. But yes, I do have to conserve it some time because it's not always going to be a good day. So I had um, chemo on Wednesday, and it wasn't a good day. After I left, because I was there all day, I forgot I was going to be there all day for that one. And I actually didn't bring anything but a bag of nuts. And I forgot to bring some fruit and some extra stuff to eat. So that didn't, excuse me, that didn't help. And then not to mention the heat when I had to come from in the building to outside, even though it was a short walk, it still was so hot and with me not feeling well, and with some of the medications that I'm on, plus the chemo medications, the sun really affects it. And it tells you on, on you know, as far as the side effects and all that, to stay out of direct sunlight, don't be in the heat that long. And then I had to go to two other places, get out, go in, and same thing. So by the time I got home, I was so exhausted. 
I didn't even, <laughs> wasn't able to get anything to cook. So I just ate some soup, which I really didn't want, but I needed to put something on my stomach because also my um, blood sugar was high. Because that um, there's steroids in the chemo medicine that I get, it does, you know, elevate as far as my blood sugar. Plus, it's been going up and down anyway. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So I've been having to take insulin the last couple of days, at least two maybe three times this morning it was good it was 94 so i don't have to take any if i do take some when it's below like 110 it usually makes me crash and then i can pass out and go into a diabetic coma so i try to stay on top of that along with managing what i need to eat and everything for both the colon cancer and still fit in to you know as far as losing weight for the diabetes because it has helped and this is my first time wearing jeans in a long time i think probably what a year and a half because i had gained so much weight so i'm getting down i'm being able to get in my size eight jeans so i'm still working on it i still want to lose another 20 pounds because i still want to have a little bit of weight but i want to as far as be healthy too i don't want to have so much weight on me that i'm not being able to enjoy things or it's making me you know more tired and it actually does affect as far as the blood sugar level and sorry if i was like this i just realized that looking in the camera but guys i just want y'all to know that just you know there are so many warriors out there just keep going keep fighting at the end you'll see you know what your hard work was for believe me i know it's not easy I know, I know how hard it is because I started at stage four. So I know those that others are in stage four, it is very hard. All the stages are, but when you start with stage four, you gotta fight even harder as far as, you know, to wanna stay here and be here. You gotta have that mindset, you gotta have that positive energy. And then you also need to have positive people around you. The way it comes from as far as your friends, family, children, um, what else? Uh, doctors, nurses, if they not, you know, bringing that positive energy, you can tell. You just ask for someone else. You don't need to be thinking about anything else outside of making sure that you are healing, that you are feeling good, that you're doing better, that you're on the right treatment for what you're going through, that you agree with your doctors. Y'all have to have, you know, as far as cum communication, so you need to do your part. You need to be an advocate for yourself. You need to look up everything. Make sure you write down if you have any questions so when you do see your doctor that you could talk about that because you need to know what's going inside of you. You need to, um, excuse me, need to know the side effects. You need to know whether it's going to help you and if it's showing that it's not, could you change it at a certain time and go to something else? You have to speak up for yourself. You can have the best doctor in the world, but they are there to treat you. You still need to be the person that's going to say, okay, no, I don't think that's going to work for me, or I'm having this issue, or this started. You need to be doing that because a lot of the stuff, they're not going to know. They know what patients go through as far as the side effects because they've been doing it for a long time and they go over it with you, but each patient is different. So you have to speak up for yourself. And, you know, if you're not able to, you, you should have an advanced director who can speak on your behalf and make sure that they are those that can speak up and be an advocate. Don't assign anybody that's not going to do that because that's not good for you. Because when it comes down to it and you can't make your own decision and then you're dependent on them to make the right decision and they don't, then that, that's pretty much going to be more on you because you selected them. You need to make sure that you trust that person to talk and advocate for you with your doctors, with the hospital, whatever you're going through, that they know as far as what side effects. You have to have this communication. I have it so much with my mom and my sister, and sometimes they really don't get it, and I understand that. And sometimes it's, I wouldn't say it's hurtful, but it's just like, okay, guys, y'all need to start looking up some stuff because I'm having to explain this too much. And it's... You know, it's taking the energy out of me to have to keep on going over certain things. So that's why I say make sure when you're speaking to them, they understand and that if they do have questions to ask you, don't wait till something happens and then they're confused as far as what they need to do. So, yes, I do have to have those conversations with as far as, you know, my um, two, three closest friends and, you know, my family who I trust to make those decisions. So, you know, just make sure that they can speak up and be an advocate because if you're looking at them, and they're not that for themselves, guess what? They're not gonna be that for you either. So just you know, make sure you know what you're going through, know what you're taking, know as far as 
look up as far as what foods, what different as far as vitamins or supplements that will help you to get better along with the chemo if you decide to do chemo or radiation. And some people don't, some people don't have to. But in my case, if I wouldn't have, we wouldn't be doing these videos. And I've heard stories and I've had someone to send me a message as well about something and it's still that person's decision, the patient, but I just say, just look at all the highs, the great things. If you're gonna concentrate on the low and the pain, then that's gonna make you make a decision that might not be beneficial to you because you're wanting to be here, but you're thinking with as far as the wrong side of your brain, I don't know. But I just want you to just sit down, take it in, understand that it's not always a death sentence and that you can beat it and you can be a warrior and keep on going. And caregivers and supporters, please just continue to help them, continue to love them through it all. It's not easy being a caregiver, I understand, because it's not. Because we do go through moods, and if we're not feeling that you're really paying attention and being able to assist us, sometimes we will, you know, get a little upset with you. Because we're trying to get better, we're trying to heal, and we don't need any more frustration, you know, placed upon us. And if sometimes that does happen when it caregivers, because they really don't understand, no matter how many times... You say you understand as a supporter, as, you know, the help of the caregiver, but you really don't because you're actually not the one going through it. You're not feeling the pain that that person is feeling. You really don't know. You can see it with your eyes and hear it with your ears as far as what they're going through, but to actually feel it and understand how it could, you know, just be so detrimental to their spirit and everything else, you just need to understand that. So guys, I just need y'all to keep going, keep being a warrior, keep on loving the warriors, caregivers, supporters. I love you all guys. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for everybody to make it through this. I hope I touch, you know, at least one person and they be like, okay, you know what? She can do it. I can do it. That's why I try to show as far as where I came from because yeah, I look like a totally different person. And I wanted to put that up for new people if you haven't went back through all my videos. And also, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for subscribing, for watching, for loving, for forwarding, you know, as far as my YouTube channel. I try to do sometimes some Instagram stuff. Some of it be on my private account, so you might not have access to see it. But guys, just know that I'm lo I love you. I'm rooting for all you warriors to get through this. And I just hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful, fantastic, freaky Friday. And I love you guys. And I'm out.